Recently, I've been learning about beavers. They used to live in this country, and now there are projects working on reintroducing them. Beavers have large webbed feet, which make them powerful swimmers. And they're also really hairy creatures, with 37,000 hairs per square centimetre, which keeps them warm and waterproof. Beavers are also master craftsmen. They sometimes build dams in rivers or barriers so that they can create nice deep pools to hang out in. Beavers can have two or three young per year and baby beavers are called kits. At Nature Tots we love playing with water and in fact some of my tots have been making their own water experiments at home. Look at this for an amazing construction. So today we're going to do some dam building. This is my river. This is my nice deep pool. And it's complete with a diving board for my little kit beavers. <laughs> Little Kit Beavers, Builders 3, made some dams. Who's best? Let's see. The first built a dam from leaves and straw. The other two kits thought the water would pour. The second built a dam from sticks and wood. A little bit leaky, but work, it could. The third's ambition to slow the flow used sticks and mud and stones in a row. Down came the rain to wash them out. Hooray, said the beavers, it's the end of the drought. It's raining, it's pouring. The first beaver's snoring. <coughs> little beaver, little beaver, let me in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll rush and I'll flush and I'll flood you out. And the straw dam burst. There was no doubt. Little beaver, little beaver, here comes a wave. Some water spilt, some water saved. The last kit braced. Stay strong, it should. The best till last, cause this dam's good. Restoring wetlands using logs brought birds and fish and toads and frogs. Houses flooded less downstream. And all of this is a beaver's dream. Mm.